I'm going to choose 47 here. Welcome back. Uh, we're fighting the uh, big, big dude. Um, more specifically, we're going to be getting... With all my little Siggy Bombs. Boom shakalaka. Gotcha. Okay. He's weak to fire, technically. Yeah. I'm doing now. What? Oh, yes. Huh. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Okay. Shut down all the machines. Nice. Very nice. Now it's just humans versus humans. Clean up. Right, you should take the spear with you. Seriously. No. <laughs> yeah. R E K T wrecked. A shield. Let me tell you something, that shield armor makes a huge difference on how much easier the game is at the end game. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't have to use any help. Any. Well, I might have healed a little bit, but it was very minuscule. And thus ends the war of Hades. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV, so the grass caught fire. And uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, I, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query, 
You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds. Because there so were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling, but I didn't care. And that's when so my mother took tell. my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make oh. the world better. Wow. You have to use your smarts to so back. something. That's so back. To serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. Hmm. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious and willful, unstoppable, even, but with enough compassion to heal the world. Just a little bit. She kill herself? Could kill one of the robots? What is this? A little globe wallet thingy. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. Metal flower. Okay. That was nice. <sighs> Jan Bart Van Beek. <sighs> I always find it once you complete a game of this caliber, and really, really, I guess, uh, most games, um, a lot of people work on them, you know. So it's good to give that respect of actually going through all of the all the credits even though I don't know any of these people I am curious about the voice actors though because I know a lot more I'm more familiar with the voice actors now since Critical Role and some other things like that I like the way that these credits are you know, what? these credits are set up. Ow. Fictional world design, Martin Badowski. Ah, it's the last name's Macau or Macaw. Something like that. Who is the voice actress for uh, Aloy slash Sobek? I'm curious. Production. A lot of people that were working on this. Crazy, huge amount of people. That's with any game, really, I guess. 
I'd love to be a game tester, but I don't know enough about coding. I mean, I could tell them what the problem was, uh, if there was one, but I don't know enough code for that to be a thing that I could actually do. Wouldn't that be like a quality assurance guy? Yes, I'd love to play test your game and be like, hey, so this is cool. This is good. This works. This doesn't work. Love to write for D and D as well, or something like that, but not always feasible. Game tech code. Look how beautiful this game is. This is one of the cauldrons, by the way. Um, this is the one, if I'm not mistaken, this is the one that housed the Thunder Jaw. Should have watched traps everywhere and it, it dies, you know. I want to get to at least the voice acting stuff and then <laughs> there were six people like five or six people that just worked on human animation well there's more so like ten people <clears throat> face animation eight people that worked just on face animation for this game wild Adam Klein. Okay. That'd be cool. Interactive Conversations Designer PJ Hughes. What I thought was interesting about the interactive conversations was that and it, it's it, it worked because you didn't have to worry about it failing but like the path that you chose would frequently I think change the end result uh, like Olin you can choose to kill Olin I saved him because I think that's what it but that's what Aloy would do I don't think she would unnecessarily kill kill a dude who was just doing it because he was his family was framed you know but if you had done that then Olin would have not been around to see his family saved you could probably still go save his family but you know Environment art. I won't have time to nap. I'll have to do that later. You can understand UI and UX. I don't know what that is. a big gap between text right there. We're going to let this one run until we get to the voice actors and then uh, from there we'll finish up this game. Which is very exciting. After this, I'll finish, I'll work on uh, finishing Kingdom Hearts 2, 
and I gotta start Breath of the Wild because it's so good. It's such a good game, and I can't wait to record it for you guys. Really, it's freaking amazing. Uh, it has its own quirky problems, really, but that's okay. We're gonna get every seed. We're gonna get every one of the uh, little towery doodads. I have to. Uh, we're gonna get the seeds probably toward the end of the game. Just mm, maybe. I'll probably do some intermittently here and there. It takes forever. There are 900 seeds in that game that you get through various puzzles and the like. Um, oh, gosh. I might have missed the voice stuff, but I don't think I have. Uh, Hideo Kojima. Nice. That's cool. Secret Agent Mark Cerny? Cosplayers are paying all this. That's awesome. I, I, like, I like that they did a shout out there. Gorilla Babies? Oh. People that were born during the making of the game. That's pretty cool. I think. Maybe. I don't know. It could be a different thing. Okay. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. It's been a blast. It was so fun. This game. Ah. Uh, that sooner. It's really not mine. I'm borrowing it from a friend. Actually, Birch is Aloy. Okay. She's cool. She was in one of the standalone thingies of um uh, bleh. Okay. Ashley Birch. That is so cool. I'm looking to see if there's any other names that I know. Anthony Hell, Brian Larkin, Alex Wyndham, William Houston, Tim Beckman. Some of the names or voices sounded super familiar, but it wasn't always clear. Toby Longworth, Lawrence Brevard. Gary Shale. It's a lot of voice actors in this. It's awesome. Glenn Rage, Brian Larkin, Gary Hagen, Gary Shale, Richard Lang, Chris Hagland. Okay, there's a lot of repeat names on here as well, which means that they just voice different groups of individuals. Which makes sense, it's much cheaper that way. Having, you know, a select number of people do a lot of different voices. Michael Siegel. Shelley Longworth. Will Coben. Ow. McCaw. McCaw! Carmichael. Nobody? A super big name that I'm really familiar with except for Ashley Birch. I don't know any of the other names offhand. I mean, I'm sure that there are other people, you know, other reasonably famous people. Morla Gorondona. Oh. 
Ginger Nolan, Lauren O'Brien, Holly Potter. <laughs> Walla voices? Okay. Well, I think we've seen enough. It's very cool. I just wanted to really kind of see who was Aloy and such. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip. Which, assuming that I understand this correctly, should have me. Silence. But that's cool. Leaves it open for a second one, which is very cool. Okay. Pretty sure this will start me back. I don't know where it's going to start me. how this will work. We'll see. I'm curious as to what happens next. <laughs> you want to load for me? That would be nice. Goodness. Okay. Congratulations. Just because you completed Ellie's main story, you can just scan your free to continue exploring and complete any unfinished quests and activities. The state of the world has been restored just before the looming shadow. Uh, you keep all leading experience from your successful playthrough. Thank you for playing. Okay. So you can keep repeating the same mission, getting a lot of experience and the like. I see. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Nice. Well, that's it. We're all done. Next game will be Breath of the Wild, I believe. Until next time, Bubba Batuna. We'll see you next video. Or let's let's play, I guess. Uh